So uh, I was hanging out with my younger brother recently, and we got into a conversation about how great an older brother I am. <laughs> I, I brought up the topic. Um, <laughs> and he was being sarcastic, because he had remembered a game that I had invented when I was six and he was four called the belt game. Um, <laughs> You see, uh, I found my dad's belt and invented a game where the rules were you had to hit each other with the belt. <laughs> and uh, that's as far as I'd gotten at that point. <laughs> now, I'm the older brother, right? So I got to go first. <laughs> so I took the belt and I whipped him in the eye. And he started screaming and crying like a four-year-old. And, and then my mom walked in, and to my surprise, she also knew how to play the belt game. Like, oh. I was crying, like, Mom, how do you know how to play the belt game? I just made it up. I mean, apparently she was an old pro. But, uh, because she would take the belt and she would hit me across the back with it. And she said, now, now you know how your brother feels. And I looked back at her and I said, no, I don't. I hit him in the eye. <laughs> that was the end of belt game. And a much needed return to Nerf. There's, a, there's so much hatred between people of different faiths in the world that doesn't really make sense to me, especially the hatred between the Jews, the Christians, and the Muslims. Those are Abrahamic religions. They have a lot in common. The Jews have the Torah. The Torah is the Old Testament and the Bible. The stuff that's in the Torah and the Bible, that makes up a lot of the Quran. One could argue that the latter two religions are really sequels to the first religion. <laughs> that's weird. To hate somebody simply because they like a sequel? Yeah. That's like if I liked the movie Back to the Future and hated somebody who liked the movie Back to the Future 2, yeah? You like Back to the Future 2? What are you, crazy? Where does it say anything about hoverboards in Back to the Future? When Doc Brown goes to his prophet, Marty McFly, does he mention hoverboards and sports almanacs? Seriously. I mean, whatever, man. Back to the Future 1 was, <gasps> don't you call it Back to the Future 1? There is only one Back to the Future. That's like my favorite movie, man. I love Back to the Future. It's like the best. But I have some issues with it, like with all time travel films, because the main character is told not to change the past because the present will be forever altered. As if the present was so great to begin with. <laughs> That's the whole time Doc Brown's like, no, Marty, you can't change anything. The space time continue. Your parents will never meet. There'll be gigawatts all over the place. The flux capacitator will blow. No, Marty, you can't change anything. But, but Doc, I mean, if we can prevent slavery, I mean, shouldn't we prevent the... No, Marty, you can't prevent slavery, absolutely not, because if you prevent slavery, then rock and roll won't exist. No, Marty, you can't... No, Marty, you can't prevent the genocide of the Native Americans, absolutely not, because then white kids can't play lacrosse. No, Marty, you can't... Absolutely, no, no. Great Scott, I'm a racist, Marty. I'm a racist. And I think I want to be a cowboy. Yes, uh, there's still a, a lot of racism in this country, like what you're seeing in Arizona right now. It's remarkable. This anti-immigration legislation that they're trying to push, right, where they would allow police officers to racially profile undocumented immigrants, especially people in the Mexican community. I think that's horrendous. But what amazes me is that people support this law. I was watching the news. This woman in Arizona looking at a camera, straight face. She says, hey, we're just trying to bring the country back to the way it used to be. The way it used to be, lady, you're in Arizona. It used to be Mexico. I mean, what are you talking about? Like, 